Hey yo, welcome back everyone to another Terraria video where we're going over another Terraria texture pack. Now this one I have been waiting for because the creator of this texture pack has been posting a lot of updates about it in my Discord. I have a section of my Discord where mod developers or just developers of games and stuff can talk about what they're developing, what they're creating. And my boy, he's been talking about it. I've been hyped. I've been waiting for this. It's another Minecraft texture pack. Now we're going to go ahead and hop in here. We're going to go straight to the bosses because i feel like that's where a main difference is in most terraria texture packs or minecraft ones at least and as you get here you know you got you got the minecraft noises on point you hear that now there's gonna be obviously some similarities to the other texture pack the one by uh my boy melster and the trees they look fairly similar the planks look similar i think the grass looks better in this texture pack but yeah like i said let's check out the bosses first let me get up here so that uh the npcs don't shoot at bosses let's check it out where is the boss stuff consumables uh obviously we're not gonna check out every single detail there's way too many things in texture packs to check out but I'll do my best to check out things I want. Look at that. Look at the health bar. Is that the dragon on the left? The wither in the middle? I don't know. Fire on the right? <laughs> but yeah look at this king slime this is amazing no offense to any other texture packs but this is probably my favorite king slime like ever in any texture packs i'm talking about just like regular texture packs too now, it's kind of weird how it doesn't turn around but i guess the king slime doesn't do that anyways but uh this this is dope as hell let me uh kill it okay i actually wanted it just to get a little smaller and not kill it but it's fine it's fine all right let's go ahead and check out the eye of cthulhu next i really do like the boss bar it's pretty cool look at that hello eye i love the shape of the eye i know it's supposed to be square because it's minecraft but this these are just like perfect squares perfect 3d squares on a 2d game it's amazing i kind of want to see the uh enraged version so let me just shoot it up a little bit here don't kill it on accident like we did the king slime oh here we go look at it spin okay look at that beautiful i see it's got to brush its teeth now it doesn't have the perfect teeth but like it has to be doing something with its teeth to just be so symmetrical and perfect they are still a little yellow so i don't know maybe they they haven't been brushing with like whitening toothpaste but yeah let's go ahead let's kill it there we go there was the eye of cthulhu now i don't know how many other bosses if every single boss has it has a texture or not but we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see we are over here in the corruption as you can see it is the fungal forest is that what it's called i don't know that's still somewhat new to me at least the name and stuff I know one of them's the warped forest or something like that. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's spawn in the eater. Let's see what it looks like. That's not the eater. Who the hell is that? Oh, here we go. There's the eater. So the eater is just like square, more square, which is exactly what I would expect from a Minecraft version of the eater of worlds. All right, here we are in the jungle. Let's go ahead and check out the queen bee. Queen bee, I'm always interested to see. Okay, so the queen bee is one of the ones that does not have a texture. If I were to see it have a texture, I'm assuming it's just going to be squared. Come on. That's usually how the Minecraft texture packs go, right? But you want to see something cool here? Check out this magic mirror. It's a, it's a little tiny nether portal. And then when you use it, it even has a nether portal noise. Amazing. All right. Now that we checked out some of the bosses there, I guess, I, I don't know if we should check out like the hard one ones or what. I guess maybe we just look through some of the items and uh, see if we see anything cool starting. Let's start with the consumables here. We got TNT as bombs. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and throw one down and see what it looks like. It just looks like TNT. <laughs> Oh, it makes the noise. makes the OG noise. Oh, look at that. Look at the iron ore. That's nice. Uh, we got the bottle honey, of course, from the bees in the game. And then all the potions look more like Minecraft potions. The mushrooms. These potions could definitely get a little confusing here other than their colors because they're all the same shape. We got the powder looking a little bit different here. And then we got the duck who, that has a uh, consumable egg here. Oh, what the heck? It turned into a regular duck. Like it, it was a it was a it was a Minecraft chicken and then it flew away. Can I like place it way over there, bro? It's flying away no matter what, no matter how far I place it. Look at that! There you go. That's a Minecraft chicken. Oh, oh wait, there you go. We can see one right there, and he fell into the hole. No, yes, no. We have a grebe. Who doesn't love the grebe? Is this just like a darker colored chicken? No, it's actually a grebe, but just like Minecraft style. So I wonder how many other things. I'm assuming the only thing. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> some of the only things that are Minecraft styled are the ones that have the egg. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, and it actually flies as a duck, a Minecraft duck. On to the tools. Let's see the tools here. Everything looking normal so far, except for the hammers. The hammers do look a little bit more like a Minecraft themed version, even though Minecraft doesn't really have hammers. Uh, we obviously have the Nautilus shell for the magic conch, the buckets, more like Minecraft buckets. The tools, of course, in the shape of Minecraft tools. Very nice so far. Not everything has been touched, but it is kind of hard to touch everything. But the things that have been changed, I like a lot. Uh, we got all the wood types, of course. We got a uh, oak, dark oak. I don't remember what this one is called. The blue and the red one. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to guess. We got the acacia, of course. We got the birch, I'm assuming. And then we have the jungle. No dark oak. Maybe one of these should be dark oak. Probably dynasty should be dark oak. We need that dark oak. Dark oak is the best wood, obviously. Uh, we got the bars, of course. The arrow looks more like a Minecraft arrow. The musket ball is literally a musket square. Uh, the emeralds and the rubies are changed to look like emeralds and rubies in the game. The diamonds, of course, change to look like diamonds. Uh, the acorn looks like a sapling. The chest, the OG chest. And then if we put them together, oh, wait, no, there's no double chest. I don't know why I thought there was a double chest, but you got to love just the noises. We got a workbench. Look at that. It's a little crushed, but it still works. But yeah, there's probably a good amount of blocks here that have been changed to Minecraft ones. I see bricks. I see pink bricks look more uh, like a Minecraft block. Uh, there's this right here, snow block. This kind of looks like an iron block. There's, there's just a good bit of things here. Obviously, it's going to be hard to cover a good bit of those things. Materials. I didn't know there were so many weapons in uh, materials. Accessories. Okay, maybe this isn't a good section to look at. Let's go to weapons. I want to see how many weapons have been changed, if any at all. So far it doesn't look like too many weapons have been changed unless i gotta like separately take out a bunch of them to see uh the swords have been changed which is nice makes sense to change those uh i'm assuming the broad swords wait no this is just a regular ass mahogany sword so I'm, it's all the short swords now we got a wooden sword oh my god <laughs> But yeah, not too many in terms of weapons. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to look into the uh, files of the texture pack just so I could like zero out specific things so I don't have to like look around everywhere. All right, so one other main thing we're going to check out here that I know is changed is the queen slime. I'm trying to find where the hell some hollowed is at. But yeah, the queen slime's been changed. We're in the hollowed now. I could actually spawn it in here. Boom let's see her in action where you at there we go she's just obviously a queen slash more luxurious version of the king slime so it shouldn't be too hard to you know make the king slime in the queen slime but look at this I, I do like the weird effect it has going on the weird glowing effect that's really cool let's see it fly don't kill it i just want to see it fly might accidentally kill it there we go it looks fairly similar when it's flying it looks skinnier actually when it flies good for her i do gotta appreciate that a lot of the slimes are also just square slimes very nice but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out the texture pack this texture pack may not be as up to date and filled as the other minecraft texture pack we checked out but i really do like seeing how there's differences between you know other minecraft texture packs how each minecraft texture pack has their own take on what it would be like in terraria but yeah work in progress texture pack there's obviously gonna be more in the future shout out to my boy under for you know dropping the texture pack and telling me to check it out because i have been waiting to check this texture pack out for a while because it just looked amazing make sure to check it out hey if you guys are a channel member you know i'm gonna start throwing people up who are channel members on this screen right here on the outro screen shout out to them i'll see y'all next time have a good day